folks. We got a few more Panini Prism Draft Picks Blasters. Uh, had a pretty good hit <clears throat> last time we did this. Got an auto out of one of these. Don't think I'll get an auto. That, that was kind of a surprise, almost like thing. Um, but who knows? You're not guaranteed an auto. Uh, even in the Mega, it says an auto, but it's not guaranteed. Well, they wanted this one secure. Look at this. Got to make these secure things. <laughs> Crazy. Um, but, uh, you know, it's something different. It's something to kind of look for. Uh, can't When well, you can't find Bowman, <laughs> maybe open some of these. I do like them. Uh, resale's not the best. But, again, if you're constantly doing this just for resale then I don't think you're really enjoying the hobby as much. So, so Kyle Conley, Hayden Jurgen, I believe, Dylan Lau, then we got a prism of Seth Lonsway, Silver, Prospects, Gabriel Rano. I kind of thought, I think I said before, I thought the Prospects might be more of a not a short print, but a little different of an insert, but they're they're just a regular kind of insert. Um, TJ White, Mike Vessel, Sean Burke. We have an upside down card, so we'll look at that one here in a second. I'm not really sure it's really anything. And Dante Williams, Power Surge. All right, oh, and we do get an auto, crazy. A cow bush. Um, that's a prism, so like silver crusade. Look at that. Look how shiny that is. That's nice and shiny there. Let's kind of look at it. I mean, this wouldn't be any type of card that I would go get graded immediately, but it's, you know, it's something you kind of want to look at just to see. Uh, I mean, just preliminary. I think there's a line right through here, or in there. Um, everything else, yeah, that corner's a little soft. So even if this was something that was, you know, like a major player, uh, like a Benny Montgomery or somebody like that. Probably wouldn't have been one that I would send off anyway because of a few little things on it. Being a pitcher, um, definitely not something I would send off. But, I mean, we've opened two blasters and got, uh, got autos out of them. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, you can spend like twice the amounts. Or really, I got these at Target for less than one mega or actually equal to one mega i got two bla uh, blasters so hmm be interesting if i get another auto out of the other one aaron zavala kind of cool looking card we got a green i think these are the hyper greens got joe rock here it's nice and a thunderstruck ryan web so you can get hyper green and yellow prisms it looks like well maybe not because they say the hyper green is supposed to be in the six card pack oh we'll look and that's the logo there sacramento state i don't know if you can see it hornets that's cool uh rohan hyundai Dominic Camel. We got another one of these green. Um, these do look like a high, what would be considered a hyper green to me. Kobe Kato and Sean Bachman Fireworks. Let's see. Bonus pack. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Still cool. Got an auto. Carson Seymour. Jackson Glenn. DBU, Dallas Babis, Lonnie White. We have a Max Muncie, and I feel like I may have skipped a prism somewhere. Uh, Brady Allen, let's look. 
And I always do that with these. I feel like I've missed like the silver. Oh, apparently not. Because when you get the green in there, that kind of takes up for some. Still looking at that Kyle Bush Auto right there. Decent. Uh, it's got a decent um, auto. What do you think? It's fairly decent. You can definitely see the Kyle the Bush could have a little work. All right, so these are definitely the hyper green and yellow. Okay, so this is just, these are just like hyper green, looks like, and these are the green and yellow ones. Okay, so we get another Joe Rock, Ryan Murphy, Wes Kent, Robbie Mar uh, Martin, it's like Florida State there, Georgia, Ryan Webb, LSU, Nick Bush. All right. Not bad for one box. Probably not just outrageous in getting my money back. I don't even think the auto would give me the money back. I don't know. I mean, Kyle Bush is a little more of a known uh, player. Um, I'm going to try to remember. I can't. Santa Clara... Uh, I feel like I should know where he's at, prospect-wise. Uh, these guys, I mean, he, you know, a couple bucks probably. Rock, maybe a couple bucks. Mm, he's kind of young. Uh, looks like I bet you some you can get probably a couple bucks for him. Rock again. Um, I don't know. Probably would be a little hard pressed in getting your money back on this, but still, cool little rip. It's nice to find autos out of stuff. That's always fun. Bowman, you can't really trust it too much. Uh, Alex here, Sal uh, Frelick, and then we got Mason Black, Prism, Gavin Williams, draft standouts. Got a J Rod back there. That's nice. Hey, there's my Razorback, Casey Opitz, Denzel Clark, Ty Matting, Jordan Kentz, and like I said, you got Julio Rodriguez, and that's a prism of that one. So you got a prism prospects. That's a little better. That one might be. I don't know. Probably still about three, four bucks. 10% of what this box cost. <laughs> Tanner BB. Hey, there's no Razorback. Ryan Costu. Ricky Tinneman. Or, yeah, something like that. And, all right. Wolfpack. Kind of feel we may have hit the end. Hey, Rodriguez again. We get both the... Prism version and not prism version. And another race back. This, even though I don't think we're going to get an auto out of this, but look at this, man. We're getting my Razorbacks left and right. Line and Lockhart. Awesome. Uh, Matthew. Oh, uh, Brant. Brent. Bryant. Herder. And there's old J Rod again. Julio Rodriguez. All right. Nico, it's interesting seeing some of these guys, like this guy, Nico, um, seeing their like, first Bowman's showing up too, and, and, and the stuff. And then some people that we haven't seen in first Bowman. <laughs> so, yeah, Denzel Clark. Ah, come on. Ah, that one's just... Yeah, that's tough trouble. All right, here we go. Well, I think our streak of blasters having autos have come to the end, but hey, still two out of three is not bad. Get Kyle Bush again. There we go. Tyler Black. Luca. Uh, Mike. And Jagger. All right. Well, 
Second box, not as good as our first one. Uh, Julio here, probably our best bet, kind of, to kind of make our money back. Even then, I don't think you will. Um, it's nice to have, like, a little silver, you know, a little prism of his. It's an insert, prism insert. He's hitting pretty well. He's doing pretty good right now. So, I, you know, I could see getting a decent amount from it. Well, I say decent amount, like three or four bucks. Kind of the same here. Um, I, I want to say he's with the Angels, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's nice to get an auto. It's not on card. It is also an auto onto a, uh, it is silver. So that's nice. But it's also an insert. So our two best, <laughs> two best out of these ended up being insert products. Uh, I did get a couple of Razorbacks, which is nice. Again, I feel like I've missed a prism or two. So I'll flip through here and see if I missed a, missed one. I'm getting better. I'm not missing them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's you know par for the course. Wanted something to rip. Kind of wanted something a little different. I just I can't bring myself to be ripping um, just anything right now. I know a lot of people kind of will, but there's just a few things I like ripping, a few things I don't like ripping. I, you know, I saw some soccer I could have ripped at. What else was there? There was some hangers. Surprisingly, still some hangers of. Kind of move that a little so it's not glaring onto those cards as much. I don't know. I'll just turn that off for right now. There we go. Um, but yeah, I just got a contenders. I could have had a couple contenders things, but those are just, I don't know, kind of, yeah. I thought about maybe some Bowman U, and if I have a shot at some Bowman U in the next day or two, I may try to get that. But overall, I mean, I like what I got. I got a couple good cars, I believe. A couple cars that are cool. Is Panini Prism something you should pick up? I guess if you are Jones and got it for a rip, it's okay. It is not something you need to pick up if you want to flip it. That's for sure. You're not going to get your money back flipping this. If you are looking for cards, like if you, you know, you get an auto out of Bowman, you're probably close to paying for that that blaster not every auto will but a, most of them will uh you know the blasters yeah are roughly around 30 most autos are probably going to give you at least 20 to 30 dollars maybe less for a few of them an auto out of um prism draft picks not guaranteed um, now i'd like to be able to start ripping maybe some prism draft picks Basketball, that's out there. I haven't been able to get any of my hands on that just yet. Uh, football is supposed to be out here soon. Those are ones that actually are licensed. So it'll be a little different. You'll get to see, you know, a little more of where they're at. People kind of will know the players a little better. Those, if you got an auto out of one of them, you would be doing a little better. To a point. I mean, if you had autos of linemen and stuff, still not going to be great. Um, let's see. That's, I mean, right now, for a cheap, kind of fun rip, I think your two best choices, if you could find them, are going to be Bowman, of course, and Bowman U. If you can't find Bowman, then... I would substitute Panini Prism. I actually would. If you're trying to do it just to, you know, make money off of it, stuff like that. Well, yeah, that's it's a no-brainer. I wouldn't I wouldn't do Panini Prism draft picks baseball at all. Uh, now, 
I kind of am a little interested in maybe picking up two or three more of these. Because I like to see. I got, you know, two out of three have given me autos. If we do another three and we get two more autos, or if we get just one auto, if you're getting an auto 50% of the time, that's not bad. I mean, you're still about even to what you would get or what you were guaranteed to get out of a Mega. So you have to do your balancing act. Uh, do you go and spend the 60 guaranteed kind of, or, well, it depends on where you go. Walmart's be 50. It's interesting. Walmart's blasters are more expensive than Target, but Target is more expensive on the Megas for these. So, I mean, I guess if you have both really close to each other, go in one store for one, one store for the other. <laughs> so, but still, I mean, they're cool. I like Panini. Um... I really like a lot of their designs and their inserts. It's going to be a shame in three or four years what actually happens to these guys. You know, they won't even be able to do this in a couple of years with baseball because Fanatics, I believe, will own everything, both players and team license. They could technically, I guess, do kind of like a Bowman U. Um, if they have, since they have the license for colleges and stuff, so be interesting. To see what they do. All right, that's a nice little rip, and see you guys down the road.